is up creatives? This is Tom, welcome back to another video. I've got a cool one for you today. I wanna to talk about this camera, the camera that's shooting me right now, the Canon 90D. This is a recent purchase for me. I've talked about it a lot on the channel. You guys seem to really enjoy my content on this camera and pretty much my favorite lens. And uh, personally, I think one of the best purchases you can make alongside the Canon 90D, this is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter F 1.8. It is an extremely popular lens, but it's also personally, in my opinion, pretty much the best lens you can buy for a crop sensor camera. So I took this camera and this lens out on a sunset shoot on my sort of daily exercise. I shot some photos and some videos. I wanna take you through some of those and I want to basically just sort of talk about some of the attributes of this lens and this camera and why I think they make such an amazing fit. First of all, let's start at the top and I want to talk about sensor detail and the detail of this lens in general. This is an extremely popular lens. Considering this is a zoom and not a prime, it is really insane you're able to get the level of detail and the level of quality. And it just is basically the reason that this lens is so revered and so popular. It's just because the detail and the sort of sharpness that you can get from the lens is basically like having a set of prime lenses in your camera bag. But instead, you're just able to have this one zoom lens and it doesn't extend. It's basically just a one size fits all within that sort of 18 to 35 zoom range. I wanna talk briefly about that zoom range as well. When you pair that with the Canon 90D, this got a, I believe a 32.5 megapixel sensor. I believe that that is the highest uh, megapixel count for any APS-C uh, sensor camera, which is basically amazing. Like you get amazing JPEGs out of this camera, uh, amazingly high sort of detail photos. You also get great looking video. Like the video is exceptional because of that high detail also with Canon's colors. Like you're just getting a gorgeous, gorgeous combination. I think we should talk briefly about those crop factors. On the uh, Canon 90D, it has a crop factor of 1.6 times. That means that the photo and video that you're gonna get out of this camera using this lens, it's not 18 to 35, it's more like 28 mil to 56 mil. However, I do wanna put an asterisk here because I always sort of you know, see this described uh, a lot and you're not really getting that as an equivalent. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll illustrate sort of just how much field of view you are losing by using a, a crop sensor uh, camera and this camera on a crop sensor. You're not gonna get the same look as if you use a 56 millimeter lens on a full frame, but it will be the same field of view. Hopefully that makes sense. If you do have any questions, just drop one down below. However, I do think the zoom range is amazing. It's a little bit tight on the uh, wide side, like 18 mil to 28 mil. Uh, equivalent is not the widest, so it's maybe not perfect for things like vlogging, but at the same time, it is really flexible. And it does mean you can do things from landscapes to portraits. Okay, so depth of field. Obviously, one of the main advantages if you were to go for like a set of primes is that generally they're gonna be faster. So you're gonna get a lower aperture number, meaning you get better low light performance and increased depth of field. Now, the nice thing about this lens is that F1.8 on a zoom range of this sort of zoom range, you can get amazing low light performance using the 90D paired with this lens. And your the depth of field that you're gonna be able to create in these images is just absolutely gorgeous. Like the bokeh quality out of the lens paired with the 90D, it's just an absolutely amazing combination. Hopefully you guys are seeing that in some of the images and photos and video that I'm showing right now. Stopping all the way down to f1.8 means that things are still super sharp because of the qualities of the lens that we've talked about, but the quality of the bokeh is there. And that brings us nicely to talk about colors. And personally, using these sort of uh, handheld DSLRs, like these consumer cameras, the advantage for me, the biggest advantage of me of switching from Sony to Canon with this camera is basically just the colors. Like that's the biggest thing that I've noticed personally. Every single time I go and shoot, I'm just getting spot on colors pretty much out of camera and they can just adjust those in post to bring them around sort of where I'm happy with. Overall, just straight out of camera, you're just getting gorgeous images and gorgeous colors. And again, this lens, paired with the sort of color science and the color reproduction and color science on the Canon 90D is just a brilliant combination. And then finally we come on to price. Now this lens is uh, about 600 pounds here in the UK. You can generally get it a little bit cheaper as well. It goes on and off sale. Um, about $650 I believe 
in the States. Now that might sound like a lot, but when you compare that to a set of prime lenses around the focal length of uh, this lens, that is a really, really killer deal. Personally, I've always sort of backed off investing in lenses, but I'm just tr totally trying to get away from that. Like this lens sticks with me on the 90D, it's on my pocket cinema camera, you might be able to see it in the background here. It's just a been a fantastic investment. Again, like I've said, I personally just think it's pretty much the best lens that you can buy for the Canon 90D right now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about this camera, this lens down below in the description. If you made it to this point in the video, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped the video a like and I'll catch you guys next time.